Hey, thanks for joining me again on Going Mainstream with Linux. Today I'd like to show you how to read your Kindle content on your Linux desktop. I'm on Linux Mint 14 and what I'm going to do is I have two options to access Amazon's Kindle services. I can either use Firefox or Google Chrome. It's much easier to use Google Chrome I've found so I'm going to double click on that. and it brings me since I'm already logged into my Google account to my apps panel and I'm going to add the Amazon Kindle cloud reader to the set of apps here and how I do that is I go to the address panel up here and I'm going to type in readamazon.com After I type in my email address and password and click on the sign in button, Google Chrome is going to prompt me to save my password and I'm going to save it and to make it easier for myself so every time I open up the Google Chrome browser then I'll already be signed in and as I can also enable the Kindle Cloud Reader for offline reading by clicking on this Enable Offline button. And I can also add it to my Chrome browser. So I'm going to click on Add. And here it is. So if I close out of the browser and I double click on Google Chrome, I will see that I have it as one of my applications so I can simply just click on that and then it's asking me if I want to get started now and it's also giving me instructions on how to download and pin any book that I want to read offline so I'll click on OK and you can see the array of books I have. Some of them I purchased, some of them are free. And then if I click on the download, I have no downloaded books currently. So all of these are being viewed from the cloud directly. And it's pretty easy to navigate. It's just like navigating it through your Android device, whether it's a tablet or a Kindle reader so if we go to the panels up here you can see here's where you sign in sign out get help here you can do some searches and if you want to go to the Kindle store you can go to the Kindle store through here and then return back to the reader and if I want to go into a list view, I can, I can display it in this type of format. And let's see, I want to go into this book, so I'll go into that book. And the resolution is very nice on Linux Mint. So I can easily read it on here. And here are more options at the top. I can show notes and marks, toggle bookmarks, view settings. So if I want to view it in sepia, apply settings, I can view it in sepia. If I want to go to the menu and take a look at what the cover looks like. 
I can see it looks like this. If I want to go into a particular section of the book, I can go into a section by clicking on the hyperlink. So let's just go back to the library. And why don't I just try and download this? So I'm going to hover over it, right click, download and pin the book. And it should save that book on my downloaded tab for offline reading. So I don't need to read it directly from the cloud in case I don't have any internet access. So you can see it's now showing status of pinned. So if I go to move from cloud to downloaded, I'll see it's now on my list of downloaded content with the pinned icon. So let's check one more thing. Okay, I disabled my internet access down below, no network connection. I'm going to double click on Google Chrome. And it's going to bring up my cloud reader. Okay, it's unable to display content in the cloud because it requires a connection to the internet. And I am in my downloaded section, so if I click on the downloaded book, I can see I can view the book. That's all there is to it as far as reading Kindle content on Linux. It's pretty easy and it's just as beautiful viewing it on your Linux desktop as your Android device. Stay tuned for more tutorials on going mainstream with Linux.